presenting the EasyMic foldable arm type electric touchscreen multimetal tapping machine. A unique machine in which you can do three functions in a single machine tapping, threading, and chamfering. Let's take a look at the video to see how. One machine installation. First, install the tapping machine base on the workbench. Tighten the six screws in sequence. Put the tapping machine into the base optical axis. Align the bottom against the positioning ring. Unscrew the screw nut mounting hole. Insert the lift screw seat into the optical axis. Align the bottom of the screw with the nut mounting hole. Tighten the mounting screws in turn. Then put the optical axis cover back on the optical axis. Check the flexibility of the machine in turn. Second, operation demonstration. Connect power supply. Turn on the power switch. Click on user parameters in the lower left corner. The normal direction of the motor is right rotation. To use the reverse tooth function, click below the motor direction to switch from right rotation to left rotation. Can realize reverse thread tapping. Click on the normal processing page. Click on the thread selection in the upper left corner of the screen. Select the thread size corresponding to the tap. Tap tapping speed. Select the corresponding speed to confirm. Then click the unwinding speed. Select the corresponding speed to confirm. Third, manual tapping mode. Put the tap chuck into the tapping machine. Hold the handle of the tapping machine with your hand. Press down to align with the workpiece hole. Tapping the push button switch above the start handle. Until the tap reaches the desired depth. Then press the button switch on the top of the handle. Until the tap completely withdraws from the workpiece. Force automatic tapping mode. Set the desired depth for tapping. Switch from manual mode to automatic mode. Hold the handle of the tapping machine with your hand. Press down to align with the workpiece hole. Tapping the push button switch above the start handle. Release finger on tap button switch. The motor will rotate according to the tap pitch to the set depth. Automatic rotation possible. Fifth, deep hole processing method. Click on the deep hole machining page. Click to select the thread. Select the thread size corresponding to the tap. Click on the depth setting. Set the desired depth for tapping. Tap tapping depth. The corresponding tapping depth and withdrawal depth can be adjusted according to the hardness or depth of different materials. Switch from manual mode to automatic mode. Six workpiece storage function. Click on the artifact page. Click on the artifact bar. Select the required thread size, speed, and depth for storage. This function can store a total of 20 items. Follow the steps above to store the desired tapping size. Next time you need to tap the same size screw, 
you can directly click on the workpiece page to select the saved thread size. 7. External thread die tapping. Put the die set into the quick connector of the tapping machine head. Press down to align with workpiece, tapping the push button switch above the start handle until the desired depth is reached. Then press the button switch on the top of the handle until the workpiece is completely withdrawn. The screw size can also be selected according to the actual situation. Set depth. Switch from manual mode to automatic mode. Just press the tap button switch on the handle to start. The motor will rotate according to the pitch until the set depth. Automatic rotation possible. Eighth, chamfering function. Insert the assembled drill chuck into the head of the tapping machine. Hold the tapping machine with your hand. Press down to align with the workpiece hole, tapping the push button switch above the start handle. Complete hole chamfering. Ninth, twisting mode. Click user parameters in the lower left corner of the screen. Click mode selection. Select the twisting mode. Enter the threading mode page. Click to select one and to stage bolt material grease, bolt size and adjustment speed. The ideal effect can be achieved only when the first stage two. The first stage torque is appropriately reduced in combination with the second stage torque. Hold the tapping machine with your hand. Press down to align with bolts, tapping the push button switch above the start handle until the bolts are tightened. Tenth, lifting function. When the workpiece is higher than the current tap stroke, the lift seat handwheel can be rotated clockwise by hand. Rotate to suitable height. Adjust the positioning ring to be close to the copper sleeve. And tighten the positioning ring screw. Adjustable stroke. Eleven, tap extension rod tapping. When the desired tapped hole is lower than the workpiece plane, when normal tapping cannot be achieved, Optional tap extension for tapping. Twelfth, multi directional horizontal tapping. First loosen the two fixing screws on the left and right of the universal head. Then rotate the gimbal head to 90 degrees horizontal plane. Level the quick chuck and the workpiece. Finally, tighten the two fixing screws on the left and right sides of the universal head. Multi-directional horizontal tapping. Universal Joint Horizontal Tapping Converts Back to Vertical Tapping Loosen the screws on both sides of the universal head first. Align the gimbal with the vertical positioning slot and push it all the way. Finally, tighten the fixing screws on the left and right sides of the universal head. 